Hello everyone. We're back. We're back from Christmas. It is vacation week for J Wilson and I. We are gonna paint a bluebird. This one, it has cunny lines. Here's the other one that I just painted right before I went live on here. I only have five colors. Here's the bird, the blue bird. We'll go ahead and we'll paint him on this piece, or we'll draw him on this piece of paper. So the first thing that I do when I'm painting this bluebird, I'll put him there so you can see him. Actually, I gotta put him over here, because he's in my way. Is I do the head. So I just make a half circle, okay? It's kind of oblong. And then I go and I do his the back side of his beak. And then bring the front side and connect them. So a triangle. Then I finish another triangle and do the back side of his beak. Right like that. And then at this point goes down here. And yes, I do draw all these lines. You can see that I drew all of those goofy lines. Even though I'm gonna cover them up with paint, I still have to do that to make sure that everything is in the right proportion. So now I'm gonna come down and do his chinny chopper right here, just on the back side of that beak, his little chinny chopper. And then he's got one part of his wing that goes right here. And then he's got another part of his wing. And then another. And then I come over here and from his beak down, it, that's where he kind of swoops right here. And then he billows out and comes down to his bottom wing right here his belly. Then there's a branch that goes through here. And he's on the back side of the branch. So from here is where his tail goes down. That's one half of his tail. And then the other half of his tail. Then his leg is sticking here. And I don't do a whole lot of, the, his feet are definitely cony lines. And then he has an eyeball right here, just a ovally eyeball. That's it. Okay, screenshot. So now we're gonna paint. Fire starter. That's the first color that I'm going to start with. And it, you're just going to go in and do the belly. When you have a good paintbrush, you can give your paintbrush a little bit of a headache and push down and you'll get a nice flat line. A nice straight line right there. So I wanted to do a really sloppy bird for tonight. And it, it ended up being really darn cute. So it wasn't very sloppy at all. It was just cute. So where his wings are, I'm just gonna make sure I got most of his belly covered up. By his little chinner chopper. I want most of that, and then it draws like a straight line right there. And then down. So that's your fire starter. Next, while that is still kind of wet, we're gonna use some vintage linen. You can use whatever white color you have and I'm gonna go and put some on my 
plate here so I don't contaminate my jar. And I didn't wash my brush. I left my brush as is. And I'm gonna go in and lighten up his belly area. I like the brush strokes to be going every which way. And I also like some of that deep orange to stay. So I'm not covering it all the way up. Underneath his little chinny choppers like a scarf. I really like the brush strokes. That's what my goal was, is to be able to see the brush strokes. give him like a little scarf. Now I'm gonna wash out my brush. I really only using one brush. I really have to make sure that that's washed out. I even put a little Dawn Power Wash in my water. I want your brushes to be clean in between while you're painting. Add a little Dawn Power Wash and it'll clean them right up. Blue. All right, now we're gonna take the blue iris you can use Hey Sailor if you like. He'll just be a little bit deeper blue. We're gonna go and do his head. And yep, we're gonna cover up that eyeball that we put in there. We're gonna leave his beak exposed. And like I said, if you have a good brush, you should be able to give it a bit of a headache and make a really, really straight line. So basically we're giving this little bluebird a helmet. gave him a nice helmet. Now we're gonna go over here and work on the wing area. The first layer of his wing is blue. The second layer of his wing is the blue. And the third layer of his wing is blue. There we go. We got his blue wing. Okay, then we're gonna go in here and do his tail. We have the first layer of his wing. Then we're gonna, while that is still kind of wet, we're gonna go in with the white and not so much on the bottom wing, but more on the top wing. We're gonna lighten up that blue. And then a little bit on the tail. to make it look like it's got a little bit of a highlight, a little bit of sun peeking through there. Then on his little helmet. We covered most of that up, don't worry, we'll get it. Now I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of blue iris. Making sure I have some brush strokes there. And the same with this. Mm -hmm. 
coming to life. And getting those brush strokes. I want to see those brush strokes. So I put some black velvet onto my paint palette there. And whenever I'm painting black, I like it to be a little bit thinner. Paint, thin down that paint a little bit. And now I'm going to go in and do his beak. And I'm just filling in the lines just like when you were a kid. Painting the beak, filling in the lines. And you have to make sure you get a nice point on his beak and a nice point back here. Now we're going in with a little bit of white. And I got to make sure to make sure you can see the top of his beak so that we know that it's two parts. Okay? He's got a top of his beak and the bottom of his beak. And that, you just take the white linen and you go over a little bit of it. You can see that I still see some black right there on that line and then a little bit on the top. And there's some really white paint in between the opening right there. Really liking this video and you're getting a lot of information from it. Please send me some stars and that, so I can continue to share content with you. I think, so there we have that. I'm to the point where I can do his eyeball, but his eyeball is a little bit of white paint. Whoops, I gotta go this way. And uh, their eyeballs are round. Body. In, I put a little bit of black velvet on my brush and now I'm going to just sneak a little bit inside this eyeball while that vintage linen is wet, making a, li a little gray. Thank you, Bobby. Let's go down and work on the branch. And back to this angled brush and some weathered wood. And I'm gonna go in and make that branch. It goes in front of him, so don't be afraid to go over his little body. Go right over top of his little body that you just made. And see how that angled brush gives you nice, smooth lines? That's because I'm giving it a headache. Does anybody know what giving your brush a headache is? No. Need some white. And the branch would get a little bit of sunlight from the on the top. So I'm making a little bit of highlight just because I put some white on my brush. I'm gonna go back in now with a little bit of brown. So I like the brush strokes and I do like the white belly. Now I'm going to give him a little bit of white 
under his chinny chopper. Okay, I'm taking some white linen and making a few highlights on this little bluebird. One in with a little black and we're gonna make that eyeball. So the eyeball has white and it has, let me pick it up for you, it has white, it has a little bit of gray. Now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna make the black part, which I'm gonna make a little bit of catch light without painting that area. See that catch light right there? I just didn't paint that little bit of white. I left it sticking out. I'm going to add a little bit of catch light, more catch light to that eye, and a little bit of white around his little eye. Right there. Go call change this background to blue and I'm gonna so here I am going in with some white linen I think you can see that and then I'm gonna contaminate my blue iris and I'm gonna and then mix that up on background blue So this one brush, if I squish all the paint out of it, it'll make it a nice flat line. And I can go around that bird, except I want it lighter. Stay. I don't like that ridge. Absolutely. That ridge beyond the bird, and then I go back in and I smooth it out. Because then we have the backgrounds that match. Now let's go for a before and after. You can totally leave your bluebird like this. 
he looks perfectly fine. Cunny line, and there's a no cunny line. DIY, we need some white on this branch right here. That's what we do need. We're going with some cunny lines. When I do cunny lines, I have to have my DIY. Okay, do I stop there? It's just feet. You could stop right there, you totally could. But we're not gonna. Our lines are this 20 over zero inch brush. It's a very, very fine, fine line brush. I put paint and I mix water with it, so it's a little bit on the thinner side. And then I go ahead and barely touch my brush to the canvas. So for his beak, I don't want a whole lot of cunny lines on his beak area there. So I kind of do that area first so I don't get so carried away because I can get really carried away like this. Here is the two areas that his, his helmet and his orange connect. And then his head, his helmet area. And I do get a little carried away with my cunny lines. I put a little bit by his eye All right, so there's the top half of his head with some cunny lines. Go down by his chinny chopper and make that area. And underneath his beak probably is a little bit of a shadowed area. So I make <laughs> a few more cunny lines. Wings. He looks like he's really puffed up. He's like, probably came here too soon. So I do like to go back and scribble a bit on the, especially those outside lines. He's got his big belly over here. We're gonna go down with just a straight line and then I'm going to get real crazy. Judy says me. All right, his feet on this one, I feel like they need a little bit of highlight. So I'm gonna go in with some white. And highlight his feet a little bit. That's it guys, I think he's done. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a like, subscribe, and share. You can help my page that way, and I totally appreciate it and can't wait to bring you more content. These paintings and products I used are available on my website at thepaintedphotographer.com. I love hearing from all of you, so drop me a comment as which birdie is your favorite and if you do enjoy the conning lines. Until next time, happy painting!